Ah, my name is Onyinyechi. I'm from Imo State. I reside in U.S., California, precisely, and I flew in last night. I am here to testify to the glory of God for saving my life. Last year, I joined Zion Ministry in September after I visited my sister that went to that came down for 100 days. During my encounter with my sister, she gave me seraphic oil and seraphic water, so I apply it on my lower back that hurt, and I get to receive miracle. In October last year, I had cough, and the cough lasted October, November, December. During December, I had to call my doctor to say if I can come. My doctor said no, that he's going to send me prescription. Uh, my doctor sent me steroid. I never took steroid in my life. I took steroid that's supposed to last for nine days. And the steroid, after I finished the ninth days, I went into coma, unconscious to the hospital. I was in coma for three days. And miraculously, when all life, all hope was lost, I woke up from coma. I returned the glory to the God. It didn't end like that. During that period, I had um, a Muslim doctor that received me at ER. He told me, this is the first time you came. We struggle to revive people that have 10% fluid in their system. In your case, you have 0% blood, 0% water. That you are alive is a miracle. Whatever you worship, don't let anybody distract you from that. And he mentioned to me that you have some kidney issue, but we are not worried about that now. So... I was discharged after so many after a week plus from the hospital. I returned home and followed up with my primary physician. When I went, when I went with my primary physician, I undergo tests about the kidney. I was operating on 47% kidney, and I was sent to a specialist. I couldn't get it to see the specialist immediately. I got it uh, December 12th. 2023 to see a specialist. However, during the 21 days, I keyed in and said, God, if you do this for me, I will come to Zion Grand and send testimony. So I followed applying seraphic water, applying seraphic oil. Then on September, on October 27th, I went back and rechecked my kidney test. And my doctor, I saw my doctor on November 6th before I, I traveled on November 10th. My doctor was asking me, what did you do? I said, nothing. He said, all your kidney, all your body have returned to normal. I give all the glory to the God of Zion who did it for me. I want everybody to appreciate the grace that is in this Zion. I am honored to be here to give this thank money. Zion, I, yeah, 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 yeah. That is the picture of our sister here in the United States when she was admitted in the hospital due to her terrible cough. Zion! We move. We move. My name is Beatrice Obiozo. I'm from Onicha, not local government of Nigeria. I live in London, United Kingdom. My testimony. I have been battling with glaucoma. Each every one of us knows what glaucoma is. If it is not treated, you will lose your sight. For 40 years, I've been battling with it. But... As God may have it, I was on medication. But then a friend and a sister of mine, thank you very much, Cordelia Wanosike, for making me become a Zionite. She introduced me last year, 2022, and got some sacramentals and um, seraphic oil. 
I was supposed to go for a very major operation on my both eyes, which my consultant said, that's the last operation. Most countries haven't started this operation. I went in. Initially, I opted, but I later went. The operation was performed, but I was told before I went in for the operation that it will bring down the intraocular pressure. That's the pressure on the eye will fall. But after that, I never saw anything. Then I started ceremoniously putting the seraphic oil on my eye. The first day, it was so painful and hurtful, but I continued. When I went for my appointment, my consultant checked the pressure, the previous pressure and the present pressure and said, what have you done? I said, what is it? He said to me, the pressure came down. I said, to God be the glory. He didn't understand, he's an Indian consultant. I said, the pressure will go, will go down more. Then he said to me, three days next to my appointment, I should stop this acetazolamide. Because this acetazolamide has the worst side effect on your organ. But to God be the glory, I've had it for years. So I stopped it three days before the appointment. And when I went, goodness me, the pressure from 3840 to 18. Oh God. And then the, the consultant said to me, what have you done? I said to him, I told you when I come the next time, the pressure must fall because the God of Omecharuhancha, of Fucharuhancha, of Fucharuhancha that I worship is still alive. So now I am not on acetazolamide for the past four or five months. To God be the glory. Amen. Zion, put your hands together for Jesus. Zion, we move. Zion, we move. Zion, ay 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 ay. My name is Peter King. Anyamu. I'm from Isi Alambano, Ugiri Isi Alambano in Imo State. I come here to give the God of Zion. Dofocharafancha or Mecharafancha, the glory and thanks for keeping me alive today in the land of the living. My testimony is a long testimony that I'm going to make it short. For the last two years, I have been projected with auto accident. I have had five motor accidents. The first one I have happened when I was on a temporary duty in Miami, Florida. That accident made me to retire early because my family was in California and I was in Miami, Florida. A car hit me and pushed me to another car on the freeway, what we call highway. They turned me around that uh, my car was Toro. The second one happened, my car was Toro. The third one happened, my car was Toro. The fourth one, my car was Toro. Then the fifth one came. It came with Avengers. I have a video of that accident. If the media can play it, so you can. Z 
Zionites, watch your screen. This is U.S. California on the highway. Our brother here was in that car where this video was being made. You saw how the car came in and crashed him. And this is our brother here in the ICT unit, the intensive care unit down in the United States of America. He was unconscious here in the ICU unit for eight good hours. He couldn't move, he couldn't speak, he couldn't see. Unconscious for eight hours. Thank you. So when the accident happened, everybody believed that I was dead. The ambulance took me to the hospital as what we call John Doe without a name believing that I'm dead. But uh, to their surprise, within eight hours, I was up. I was discharged from the hospital. I went home, went, went to the pharmacy and picked up my medication. But uh, then two days later, I couldn't get up from the bed. You know, Isaiah, Isaiah 54, 15, and 16 say, they will gather together, they will try, but if they are not of the God, they will not succeed, they will fall. Amen? So, when I went back to hospital, I was diagnosed with uh, my spinal cord. One, the last tailbone of the spinal cord was leaking and the last one on my neck was also leaking so I couldn't get up for the next three months I was on the bed only can lie down on my left I couldn't lay on my right or my back or my tummy to the point that I cannot walk for people in United States I have a Kaiser insurance the Kaiser refused to give me a, what we call an epidural injection. They said they can only do surgery. And when you do the surgery, the chances of me walking again is zero to none. So I was in heavy medication of NOCO 7.5, gabapentin for the medical people here and the flesh rail. All I do is sleep, no movement. Then my wife, thank God, like my brother said, a man who find a good wife, find a good thing. You know, I am blessed on my wife, who is also a medical field. She looked into it and told me the knuckle is not uh, encouraged to take. She went out of our insurance. We went and got a pen management. Where they give me uh, the epidural, they take my blood and they use the white cell to see the leak. So anyway, it didn't work. God said, he's the finisher. So when I started, my wife started using a seraphic oil and seraphic water on it from my shoulder to my neck, from my neck to my leg. I started rubbing it. Within a week, I can walk around with, without a cane. So I was able to do that for a week. It looks like the devil went back and prepare, I come with Avengers. After one week, I couldn't move again. I couldn't turn myself. 
my wife was saying, no, the devil must be defeated. I started drinking it. She got the sand. She put it in my water. I was taking a shower with it. I was drinking it. I was doing everything three times a day, like I, I do my medication. Guess what? Today, I am able to move without a surgery. I can even join to play soccer for this uh, Zion ministry. Zion, I yay, yay, yay! It can only happen here on Zion ground. Our sister here is testifying of how she was diagnosed of cancer of the breast. She has tried to go to so many places to get cure, all to no avail. She went to the best hospitals. She was taking her treatment, no improvement. Until when Son introduced her to the Omechara Fancha headquarters. This holy altar of for where every impossible cases, any manner of sicknesses are being mentioned and treated by the power of the Holy Spirit. She came down here on Zion ground with her doctor's report and presented it to this our God that does wonders here on Zion ground. She also purchased a seraphic oil and seraphic water and started using it. She bought the Odeishi hanky because that was the, the last year's 100 days. But by the time she came, the program was already over. But because she believed and she had faith in everything that goes on here on Zion ground. She left with faith and she continued with her treatment and there was improvement. When this year, 100 days began, she keyed in despite all her health challenges of high blood pressure, heart pain, and also the breast cancer. She believed everything that was happening here on this altar, keyed into all the prophetic utterances by that in the Lord. She got the Odeshi hanky and started putting it on as her own personal underwear. And for every time she does that, she was receiving a divine treatment from this our super God of Zion ministry. Until after the 100 days program, she went back to her doctor and she was declared cancer free. All her pains in the chest, her high blood pressure, the cancer of the breast and every other sicknesses she was going through vanished instantly by the power of this great God of Omechara Fancha. Zionites celebrate Jesus! Ay, 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 